Hello friends, in this video you will learn two points. First point is about a general introduction of Ayurveda physiology like what is this Kriya Sharira and what is its importance etc. And second point is regarding syllabus of Kriya Sharira according to CCIM. So, this video will be useful to the students who have newly joined to the first year BAMS course. As a student, they will be having a lots of confusions or the doubts regarding the syllabus. Like what and all the topic I need to study, in which sections the topic has been explained, for how many marks the theory paper has to be studied and for how many marks the practicals we need to concentrate. So, these are all the questions will be answered in this video. First, we will understand what is this Kriya Sharira. Kriya Sharira or Sharira Kriya are one and the same. Being a conjugated term, the word Sharira refers to human body and Kriya refers to functions. So, the study of various functions which is taking place inside our human body is called as Kriya Sharira. Coming to its importance, in order to understand the Ayurvedic concepts, this Kriya Sharira is base. For understanding the concept of health, disease and its pathogenesis or the prognosis or in case of treatment, the knowledge of Kriya Sharira is must. For example, in Ayurveda, health is defined as a balanced state of dosha, body humus, dhatu, body tissues, mala, waste products, agni, digestive fire and pleasantness of mind. So, the explanation of dosha, dhatu, mala, agni, manas, all this has been dealt under the section of Kriya Sharira. Hence, we used to say, if you have a thorough knowledge of first year subjects like Kriya Sharira, Rachana Sharira, Ashtangaradaya, Padartha Vijnana, so all these subjects are act, acting as a base for becoming a good Ayurveda Vaidyas. Next, we will understand the syllabus of Kriya Sharira. So, it is having a two section, one is theory paper, another one is practical paper. So, this theory paper is for 200 marks which is subdivided into paper 1 as well as paper 2. So, this paper 1 as well as paper 2 is for 100 marks each. Coming to the practical, it is for 100 marks out of which the practical section will be having both Ayurveda as well as the modern practical sections. So, coming to the theory paper. So, in theory paper as I have said it will be having two papers that is paper 1 and paper 2. Under this paper 1 it is having two subdivision that is part A and part B. Whereas, this part A is having a Ayurveda portion and the part B is having a modern portion. So, this part A Ayurveda portion is for 50 marks and part B modern portion is for 50 marks. So, first we will see regarding what are the topics we are going to see under part A that is Ayurveda portions. So, under this Ayurveda portions, we are going to study most of the basic principles of Kriya Sharira, like fundamental principles of Kriya Sharira, like understanding the Siddhantas, Panchamahabhuta Siddhanta, Tridosha, Triguna, Lokapurusha, Samana Vishesha Siddhantas. Along with that, the Srotas is also will be dealt. Next, we will be studying regarding the definition of Sharira, that is human body, Kriya, and there will be a descriptions of doshas and its relationship between trigunas, panchamahabhutas, etc. And next we are going to study regarding the detailed descriptions of tridoshas like vata, pitta and kapha. So, it is starting from definition, where is it located, what is are the properties, what is its functions, etc. We are going to study in the dosha sections. After learning the doshas, we are going to see what are the etiological factors or the causative factors responsible for its increase as well as decrease. Next, we are going to study regarding the concept of Kriya Kala and concepts of Prakriti like the human body constitution that is Deha Prakriti as well as Manasa Prakriti. And next, we are going to have a topic called Ahara where the definition, its classification, its importance, all this will be dealt under section Ahara. Along with Ahara, we are going to study the Agni descriptions like its definition, its importance, classification, functions, etc. So, approximately 13 points we are going to see in part A, that is paper 1, part A, Ayurveda portions. 
Next coming to paper 1 part B portion that is a modern portions. So, you are going to study some of the modern concepts like homeostasis, cell physiology and transport across the cell membrane like diffusion, osmosis, active transport, passive transport etc. And we will be de uh, dealing with the resting membrane potential, action potential and next we are going to see the systems like respiratory system. Under respiratory system we are going to see functional anatomy, transport of gases and control of respiration, artificial respiration and applied aspects like asphyxia, hypoxia, pulmonary function test etc. Next we are going to see a very important system that is nervous system. Under nervous system we will be seeing the types of neuron, the description of neuron, propagation of nerve impulse and the sensory system, motor system and the functions of different parts of the brain. Along with that we are going to see a special senses and higher mental functions like intelligence, memory, learning etc. And after nervous system we are going to study an another important system that is GIT along with its functional anatomy, composition of digestive juices, functions of salivary gland, stomach, liver, pancreas etc. along with movements of gut. So, sixth point we are going to study regarding uh, acid base balance like which will be having a water and electrolyte balance and components of food and digestion as well as metabolism of carbohydrate, protein, fats and very important topic and the small topic is there that is vitamins. Next coming to the paper 2 that is theory paper 2 it is also having same two subdivision that is part A and part B. Part A is for Ayurveda, part B is modern and individually it is for 50 marks. So, in paper 2 part A portion that is Ayurveda portions, so the remaining basic concepts of Ayurveda we are going to see here. Examples like the descriptions of dhatu, dhatu here refers to body tissues. So, the what are called dhatus, what is its properties or what are its functions everything we are going to study in part A section. So, the detailed descriptions of individual dhatus like starting from rasa dhatu, rakta dhatu, mamsa, medha dhatu, asti dhatu, majja dhatu, shukra dhatu we are going to learn this dhatu elaboratory starting from its definition, where it is located, how it is formed, what is its functions, what is its measurement and what are the applied aspects of the dhatu we are going to study here. So, after learning dhatu we are having a concept called ashraya ashraya sambandha and next we are having a concepts of ojas that is immunity according to Ayurveda and balavridhikara bhavas we are going to study in paper 2 part A portions. So, after studying a dhatu, ojas etc we are going to study the upadhatus or secondary tissues what we are going to call and we will be having a called concept called mala, panchagnyanendriyas and its descriptions and manas where it is located what are called what is manas and what is its functions and the description regarding the atmas okay, that is different between what is uh, jivatma as well as paramatma and the concepts called nidra as well as swapna that is sleep as well as dream. So, coming to the paper 2 part b portion that is a modern portion. So, remaining modern concepts we are going to see here starting from hemopoietic system where you are going to see a descriptions regarding blood and different blood cells like RBC, WBC, platelets and hemopoiesis that is how that RBC, WBC platelets are formed that description will be studied elaborately and uh, descriptions of bone marrow and hemostasis that is a blood clotting and the description regarding a blood group anticoagulants, plasma proteins and applied aspects like anemia as well as jaundice. And the second point we are having immunity, it is a classification mechanism we are going to dealt here. And next one is muscle physiology, comparison and physiology of muscle contractions we are going to see here. And next important system is cardiovascular system starting from functional anatomy, cardiac cycle, cardiac output, heart rate etc. we are going to see here. And next point is there that is adipose tissue. And next one is functions of skin, sweat gland, sebaceous gland and next one is uh, reproductive system male as well as female reproductive system and one is uh, next one is excretory system and lastly we are going to see endocrine system which will be dealing individual endocrine glands and uh, what is its secretions, what is its functions, what is its applied aspect everything we are going to deal with. So, till now we have seen regarding the theory portion. So, in theory it will be having for 200 marks you will be having two papers paper 1 as well as paper 2. Under paper 1 as well as paper 2 individually we are going to have uh, modern con 
concept separate as well as Ayurveda portion separate. So next we will be seeing regarding the practical portions. Under this practical portions we are having both Ayurveda practicals as well as the modern practicals. So under this Ayurveda practicals we are having 7 points. One is assessment of Prakriti, assessment of Dosha, assessment of Dhatu, assessment of Agni, assessment of Koshta, Sara. At last we are having a concept of Nadi Pariksha. So all this points will be dealt under the practical portions. Coming to the modern physiology practicals, we are having uh, laboratory instruments and the collection of blood samples, preparation of the blood smear and straining, estimation of hemoglobin and uh, estimation of BT and CT that is bleeding time, clotting time, blood grouping, RH etc. Under this modern physiology practicals, the PCV that is packed cell volume and ESR that is erythrocyte sedimentation rate practical is only for demonstration no need to perform in case of your exams or the practical examinations that PCV as well as ESR only for demonstration. So after this uh, lab practicals we are going to have uh, another group called as systemic examination. So that is examination of pulse, examination of the BP, heart sound etc. we are going to study here and in case of respiratory system examination of respiratory rate, breath sound and spirometry. And under nervous system, the examination of sensory as well as motor system will be. So along with systemic examination and uh, blood examination, another important examination is that that is urine examination, uh, specific gravity of urine and uh, blood in urine etc. That examinations will be studied under urine section. So under modern physiology, we are going to have three section. First one is regarding a uh, blood examination, second one is urine examination third one is systemic examination. So these are the points which has been mentioned in your syllabus according to CCIM. So theory paper as well as the practical paper. Under this practical you will be having Ayurveda practical as well as the modern practical. So this practical section is for 100 marks. I hope this video has cleared your doubts regarding the syllabus of Kriya Sharira according to CCIM. If any doubts or confusions you can ask in the chat box. Thank you everyone for watching. I will meet you in the next video. Until then, take care.